All right, I thought I'd show you uh, a secret that I've been doing for years. I actually started selling these because I enjoy this so much. And uh, I have an eBay store, so you could check out um, the, below in the description. There's a link to my eBay store, and you can uh, purchase a lens kind of like this. But this is a setup I've been using, using for years, and you could fill up your um, camera bag with a ton of lenses at a very cheap price. Um, and this is how you do it. Um, you could do this yourself. Like I said, I do sell these on eBay, and what I do is I make sure I only purchase the ones that are uh, that I know have uh, top quality glass I know by the name brand and uh, basically looking at them checking them out and I do uh, clean them up and make sure everything uh, operates correctly but uh, yeah check out my eBay store and you can buy these uh, lenses cheap uh, just make sure to read the description if, and it will uh, tell you any defects or anything like that that might be with these lenses so these are um old film lenses these are screw mount lenses if you can see there as a screw mount um what i do is uh, this is m42 screw mount is uh i'll get an adapter um and you just screw it on the back and all my lenses that i sell have these adapters that come with them and you can attach it to your camera What's better about these lenses? Because they're made of solid metal. They're unlike uh, the nowadays lenses that are all plastic and stuff. So uh, these last, obviously, because they're, they've lasted for so long already. Um, and optically, they are excellent. Um, like I said, I'll only, um, do the research and find the best ones, name brands, that I can. And I've kind of uh, I've shot with these for several years, so I kind of know which name brands are, are best optically. And... Um, I've used all these lenses right here are very sharp. Um, so let me tell you how that works. So you, uh, this adapter that comes with it, you just screw it on like like such, and it attaches just like uh, any other lens. You've got the red dot here and the red dot here. This is my Canon 60, and you just uh, put it on there, and you hear it click just like so. So that's how it goes on. So how does an old lens like this work on your camera? Well, it's a little different. You don't have control. There's nothing auto about it. It's full manual. So if you are a, um, a new photographer, new to photography, and you're wanting to learn a lot, this is actually a very good way to learn because this takes you out of your auto mode. You have to use manual controls to get your aperture, your focus, and it helps you learn a little bit quicker. So uh, think about that. So uh, I put this on my camera. And then we'll uh, we got it on here. So let me uh, zoom in here and you can see what's going on. So you see uh, right here, normally it would be your f-stop. It says zero, 00 there. That lets you know it's not reading an f-stop because there's no electronics on the back of the lens there. So I have it in uh, AV mode, which is aperture priority. So when I hit, let me turn that on. So when I hit, Hit that, you could see it said 400 there. That was uh, yep, there we go. So it's it's trying to adjust the shutter speed for the the light coming into the camera aperture priority, even though it says zero zero there. So you could use that mode and see. I could just click and there you go. I take a picture. It is uh, all manual focus, and the uh, aperture is selected right here on the lens. So you're controlling all that on the lens. Uh, the, the, the two different modes that I would recommend shooting in is AV mode, or you could go full manual if you want, and so you can pick the, uh, the shutter speed yourself. But, okay, so we got those. So the, the three that I got here, and this is not usually all the time what I have in my store on eBay, but um, I'll go over the ones that I've gotten sitting up here. And then I'll go out and do some test shots with them, and you can see exactly how some of these uh, images come come out. Um, right here, this is a uh, 50 millimeter, kind of like your Nifty 50, you might have heard. This one is uh, actually Sears, but it's solid metal. You might be saying, Sears, name brand, what? Uh, this is actually a very good lens. I'll, uh, Sears 
and J.C. Penney's and Montgomery Ward years ago, they uh, they actually uh, contracted uh, lens makers to um, make lenses for them, and then they just put their their uh, name brand on the front of it. So this one I could kind of tell by the body on here. This one's made by uh, uh, what I think is uh, Rico Riconon. Um, so it's it's very solid, very good optically, and I'll be shooting with that one. This is uh, I, I, uh, Sears ones I could usually find pretty cheap. And like I said, I sell these in my store. You could do it yourself. You could find these, maybe get a little bit cheaper. But what I, what I do include in my store, uh, the adapter, and you always always get a rear cap. And this is an EF uh, cap, so it'll fit right over the adapter, so you don't have to worry about scratching anything. And then uh, a lot of times, if it doesn't have a cap already, I'll include a brand new pinch cap. So that's what I've included on this lens. But let's go over the other ones I got here. Um, this is a 200 millimeter. So 200 millimeter f3.5 it goes all the way down to. So you can get some really nice bokeh with this one. Uh, bokeh meaning uh, blurred out backgrounds. So uh, since the f3.5 it goes down to so um, just to give you an example here, so this is, um, like I said, I sell these under $50 in my store. The L-Series one of this, uh, the it's a 200 millimeter f2.8, actually sells for around 800 bucks. So that's what you're saving here. And, this, and a lot of this glass is, uh, is very good. Very uh, Since it is a prime lens, you'll get some very, very sharp images. Um, but that's that and this is one of my favorite right here uh, this one's actually kind of a portrait lens for using it on a full frame uh, sensor camera this is the 135 f 2.8 Vivitar lens which I like about this is um, it's see how compact it is it's not very big whoops sorry and uh, it has a built-in a lot of these lenses will have this uh, especially the 200 I don't think this one does no but uh, a lot of them will have it um, built-in lens hood it's all solid metal very sharp optically this lens is i've used had several different copies of this very nice lens all these have very smooth focus rings very nice um, but there it is and i sell these in my store and a lot of times i'll uh sometimes you'll just have to read the description but i might include a bonus like this is uh here is a macro um, extension tube so um I, a lot of them have either something like this or they'll have a times two teleconverter so like if you put uh say it, this one included a times two tele teleconverter so you put that in between the uh, the adapter there and it would be times two so it would be uh your 135 would uh, obviously come out to uh, 270 on your camera so that's uh, a bonuses I include. This one's a, a macro, um, macro extension tube so this will allow you to get uh, some very nice close-ups of whatever you want to take close-ups of bugs, flowers or whatever. Um, very cool um, and a lot of times I just include these at no extra charge but uh, like read the uh, description. Um, I was gonna say also like this Vivitar comes with a metal cap so it's really cool too. A lot of these have I'm just, they're just better constructed than nowadays lenses. If you could get, um, if uh, you could like using all the manual controls, like I said, this is the best way to go. And if you're new to photography, it helps you um, helps you learn a lot faster because you learn your f stops and you're actually getting out of that automatic mode. So you could learn stuff like um, <coughs> hyperfocal length too on on how to do that on your lenses and uh, various other stuff about photography. So, all right, one thing I did forget. I did forget to uh, mention, because I know I'm going to get questions about this. Uh, does this setup work on your camera? This setup works on every Canon DSLR ever made um, except the 1D. So this will work on T2i, T3i, T4i, T5i. T6i, 70D, 
uh, 60D, 50D, 40D, uh, even full frames. I got it on the 6D and the 5D. Just the 1D is the only camera it will not work on. There's something different about the electronics in there. But uh, this is excellent. Uh, I wanted to also mention uh, this 50 is excellent for video. Um, it's super smooth focus ring, a lot better than that nifty 50. If you like doing a uh, made by Canon, but uh, yeah, this smooth focus ring, the shallow depth of field makes this excellent for video. You put, might have seen some other uh, sh short uh, movies made by people using uh, old lenses like this. So if you're into video, this uh, is a lens I'd strongly recommend. Um, I'm going to go take a walk now. So uh, check out these uh, sample images. I'll probably take the 50D and the 135 with me. Uh, but check out these images and uh, subscribe. Thanks. All right, uh, so you saw the the kind of quality, excellent quality you could get out of these lenses at a very cheap price. Uh, like I said uh, in the description, there's a link to my eBay store, and I sell all these lenses for under fifty dollars. Um, I you might be saying, well, I could do this myself. Yeah, you can. You can go out and find some lenses, but I've taken a lot of uh, the legwork out for you because I've I've uh, been shooting the same system like this for many years, and I kind of know which which uh, which name brands of these older lenses uh, are the best optically. And also, what I do when I buy each and every one of them, I make sure all everything works correctly on them, and I do give them a nice clean up. And I've included the stuff that you'll have to go out and buy separately, like the uh, adapter and uh, rear cap and front cap. So for under 50 bucks if you went and tried to do all that yourself it's pretty much going to come out close to the same i'm just making a few bucks off this but anyway uh, yeah uh, check out my other videos subscribe and thanks for watching